We're here on the beach in Thailand. The question is how to be more confident and not give a fuck. How to be more confident and not give a fuck. Doing right. What's your tips on that? You seem to be like a super confident guy, living your dream, not really giving a fuck what people think about you. Crushing it on social media. Uh, you know, in relation to your demographic. Uh, how many 42-year-old guys do well on social media? It's me, it's Gary V. That's about it. Athlete X. But uh, in general, it comes down to confidence. Uh, if you care what people think, whew, too much. I mean, we all care a bit what people think, don't we? You know, you've got to have some sort of caring. If you, if you totally didn't care, you'd walk around naked on the street, just like a little bit, you know. It's, it's, you've got to care a bit. I'll put the sunnies on. Put the sunnies on. I think these, these sunnies definitely uh, applicable for this video. What's the option, man? What's the option? I always ask people, do blah, do not a hala, what a blah, 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 you know, I want to like live the dream, move out of home, sick of my parents, sick of my nagging girlfriend or boyfriend, or I'm sick of being fat, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Oh, but like, I don't have enough money and, and, and like, I'm still at university to do it. I'm like, what about my parents? Might think, oh, what? What? Seriously? What's your option, man? How to be more confident and not give a fuck? Just do it. Like, what's your option? Be unconfident and overly give a fuck about things that don't even fucking matter. Like, in life, ask yourself the question, what is my option here? What's the option? Be sad, depressed, oh my, 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 focus on your first world fucking problems, or get up and fucking take action and do it. Yeah. How to be more confident and not give a fuck is be who you want to be, be a good person, get shit done, help the planet, and don't give a fuck what haters whatever say. And imagine if I cared about, you know, you've been watching me, you've been watching me for a while, I've been on YouTube since 2008, that's 11 years. I've averaged a daily upload for 11 years. That's some consistency, and I've had haters, hater campaigns. I've had friends gang up and like upload videos in the same day. Oh, I don't support doing it, I don't know it's bad. I wouldn't call them friends. I, I look back now and I think they were just parasitic vulture vampires sorry vultures you know so imagine if i was like oh my god what this is shit i'm just trying to help people just trying to like give people career and get them off drugs and they turn around and try and do that imagine if i if i really really worried about that i would be gone all right in life you're going to get people who are going to try and bring you down they'll pretend to be your friends pretend to be your your best thing man i care about you so much you're the best you've helped me so much i'll, I'll do anything for you they'll say all this shit for you maybe you will sat online but then as soon as they get a chance to put the knife in or with the boot in to try and minimize you as competition, they'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm down. Fuck you not. Fuck, fuck him. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck these people. You know, like, that's just the world we live in. It's ultra competitive, man. And, and most people out there, will, if they get a chance to get one up, they'll fuck you over hardcore. Yeah, that's, that's the reality. So that can cause a lot of confidence issues for people because they're like, oh, you know, I don't want to help people. Help the planet. Fuck people, help the planet. You know, like, who gives a fuck what people really think? If you're doing what needs to be done in society, if you're, what you're doing is helping the planet, like yesterday we were at to dinner, like me and Natasha, and we're at a restaurant, and here in Thailand the smoking law is a little bit up and down. But anyway, this was a, a tourist area here in Hadrin, Copenhagen, and there was this French, these Frenchies next to us. And I've got a lot of French audience out there, but in France they love to fucking smoke, and Belgium, etc. It's a Euro thing. And, and so they start lighting up in the restaurant. And it's like an open air restaurant, but there's a roof over, and I'm like, you know, fuck smoke. I'm, I look over there, I'll see four Frenchies smoking cigarettes. So I'll tap one of them on the shoulder and say, hey, like, this is a restaurant. She's like, yeah, but there's an ashtray here. And I'm like, cool, but there's kids just right there. There's kids here. I'm like, fuck the ashtray, there's children right there. I'm like, what? And, and they got it really quickly. And so they got up and smoked outside, you know. But I used the kids as a bit of leverage. I couldn't just say, hey, it's, it's unpolite to smoke around non-smokers. No, nah, they'd be like, I smoke, it's my right to smoke. I had to use, get the kids involved. And that worked so effectively. But I didn't care what these smokers thought of me. I have a right to clean air, and so do the kids sitting next to me. And I don't want to sit in a restaurant eating my beautiful, healthy food and have some fucking toxic fucks smoking cigarettes next to me. Well, I don't want to smell cigarettes when I'm eating my food, or any time for that matter. Right? It's my right to smoke, just, Go and go to an island, smokers. Go to an island and keep your fucking pollution to yourself, right? <laughs> fucking hell. Better yet, 
have 20 smokes in your mouth, light them up, and check off the planet sooner. But anyway, so that was the deal, and I didn't care. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I didn't throw forks and knives and bolts around. I just said, hey, tap, tap, what are you doing? I didn't care what they thought of me. Yeah? Because they didn't care what they think of themselves. They didn't care about themselves. Why would you care what people think of you when most of the time those people don't even care about themselves? They're doing drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, just reckless behavior, speeding, doing crooked, stupid shit, risky shit. Why care about those people? They don't fucking matter. Why care about your parents, whom you might love or whatever, but they don't get your lifestyle? You know? And you go, oh, I'd love to go vegan, I'd love to move out of home, I'd love to have a different partner or a different job, but what would my parents say? You know, I really care about my parents. Well, care more about yourself, and by doing that, by doing the good things by yourself and your, your passions and your, all that stuff, the environment, if your parents care about you, they'll be like, wow, you, you've really turned the shit around. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna, what's, what's the options here? Seriously, this is like a, a you know, one-on-one -on -one combo here, I'm having my audience. What's the options here, man? Look at these sunglasses, look at this fucking hat. Look at this t-shirt, it says, sorry what I uh, said when I was under card. You know? I wear green shoes. I'm 42, I've got, I, my, Natasha's 21, half my age. I don't give a fuck what people think about that. You know? <laughs> you think I really give a fuck? <laughs> look at that, look at the trolls and comments I get every day. Look at the videos people make about me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm laughing, man. You know what I mean? Look, look, look at these people today. Look at the people who made videos about me a couple years ago and, and look at their lives today. 100% of them are depressed. You know, they're leeching off other people's work or they're like living at home with mummy and daddy, paying their way, and they're still mad depressed. All right? So if you're worried about critics, haters, fuck the haters. They're all depressed and anxious as fuck and they don't, they're, they're, they're irrelevant. But at the start, you might think they are relevant because I'm a guy. Especially if they were your friends, people you helped out, and then they turn around trying to put the knife in you. You're like, oh my god, like, I thought you were my friend, that hurt. I get that, but fuck them. They're just toxic, damaged people, and they don't fucking matter in the bigger picture. Alright? Forget them. Fuck them. And uh, let's say the people like your parents, though. You know, you, their parents help you out, they give you money, they give you a place to stay, but you're like, I don't really want to do this, what they want me to do. I don't, I don't want to take their business over. You know? Be grateful for that. Don't be a little whining brat, just, but just say, look, I'm so grateful we've got this opportunity, but it's not my passion. Your parents will be like, not your passion, it ain't my passion either. This is my dad's business, but I took it over because this is family tradition, son. This is family tradition, daughter. I don't like selling chairs, but this is the family's business. And you take it over. I took it over. It's your job. No, no, say, look, that's cool, but I ain't into chairs, man. I ain't into restaurant business. And I appreciate it. I'm so grateful for it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to Hawaii. You going to Hawaii? What the fuck are you going to do in Hawaii? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrub toilets, sleep on the beach until I get my break on YouTube or until I get my break as a jet ski life coach or whatever. Jet ski instructor. I don't know. You know but you, you're going to do it. And your parents are going to give you a mad resistance. You know? But don't lose your shit. Don't be screaming back at them. Don't be throwing shit and burning bridges. Just, just stay calm as fuck. Explain yourself, explain your actions and go. If it's even easier, just pack up and leave at 3 a.m. <laughs> and say do it by text. That might be easier. But keep your fucking calm. Keep your cool, all right? And say, hey, I, I really appreciate, and I really deeply appreciate the concern you have for me and my well-being, all right? Don't brush that off. I know it's hard when you're 17 or 25 or whatever, you're living at home and your parents say, this is dangerous. You're like, no, it's not. Like, it is. If you're riding a motorbike with no helmet, it's fucking dangerous, all right? Don't be fucking rude to your parents or anyone who says, don't ride on a motorbike or don't speed. It's fucking dangerous. People die on it all the time. Unnecessarily from head injuries. I've seen four people dead here in Thailand on the road. Head splattered. Bang. Popped. You know, cracked open. It's, it's, you know. So the, the parents might say something, you're like, oh, fucking, this is, get off my, get off my back. Get off my back. This is where it comes to be an adult and have personal responsibility. Go, hang on, is this shit really fucking dangerous? Is me speeding or driving on the back of a motorbike with no helmet or going into cars with drunk people? Is this, this is probably pretty dangerous. I probably shouldn't be doing this. The taxi driver's drunk. We're in Mexico or fucking Laos. The taxi driver's drunk doing, laughing and stuff. We're going pretty fast. 
I should probably say slow down, chill, you know. And there's plenty of people who are in those situations who die or in wheelchairs now because they didn't speak up. Because they care what people thought. But these people were drunk doing reckless shit. All right, so just use your fucking brains, people. Use your fucking brains. All right. And I know your brain at 17 is not going to be developed about safety as it is when it's 42. But just think, what could happen here? Is this the risk-reward ratio worth it? I can go 120k downhill on my bike. It feels good. But it doesn't feel as good as having good sex with Natasha or being fit or being, you know? So if I had to crash at that speed and break all my bones and shit, break my pelvis or whatever, it's, more, it's not worth it for me. It's like doing crit racing. Pin a number, I'll do it on a shell, so what you got? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, man, I've done 20 years of bike racing. I still race. But you won't see me line up in a stodgy crit for racing for 20 bucks and a plastic trophy or whatever. Fuck that. Done that many times. You want to race me? Let's go and race on Strava. Go and beat one of my times. Let's go race across the Strava or up a hill or whatever. I'll race you. But it's, again, this is where people get themselves in the shit because they care too much what the haters or their parents think. And then they end up doing risky shit or they end up doing shit that risks their life happiness because they stay stuck in this thing. And they're like, oh man, my parent wants me to be a lawyer, my parent wants me to be a doctor, but that shit's pretentious and boring as fuck for me. I don't want to do that. I want to just be, I want to be doing doing what I was doing. You know? I want to be doing what I was doing. I want to be like helping the animals, fucking teaching people better eating habits. That's what I want to be doing. So what's the option in life, man? Live for your parents' dreams. Live for the fucking haters. Work in a job you hate to buy shit you don't need to impress the haters who don't give a fuck about you and you're just a little outlet for their frustrating, boring as fuck, desperate lives. And and when you go, they'll jump on someone else to hate. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Who are you living it for? Even your kids. I mean, I see so many people have kids and the kids become teenagers and they're like, Mommy, buy this. Daddy, buy this. You're a shit parent. They're going to this holiday. I'm not going. This is fucked. And I'm just like, man, you got these little brats? <laughs> I would fucking get zip ties and fucking zip them up, mate. You know what I mean? And make a video about it. Vlog it. You know, how I deal with my teenage kids. So, like, have fun with it, though. You know, have fun above all. That's what we have, man. We have these people just caring so much what other people think. And it's, I like it in a way because it reduces competition for me. But then at the same time, it creates this fucked up society. So... <sighs> You know, well, what you gonna do? What's your options, man? What's your option? I always ask yourself, I can be depressed, fucking hating life. You know, there's people right now stuck in cold, shitty Melbourne, drinking coffee after coffee to do work they fucking hate. Because they're like, oh, I'm stuck in this relationship, I've got kids, I've got someone pregnant, I'm not, there's no love, I haven't had my dick sucked for four weeks. Like, this, is, this life sucks. You know? And I'm just like, what well, fuck this. So what are you gonna do? What's your option? Continue doing that life or say, hey, I'm out, see ya. It's child support payments. That's why I recommend guys get vasectomies, man. Because women change after having kids. And do you know who, how I know that? Women tell me, you know? They gain a bit of weight, the husband doesn't give them the passion they once had, the husband's always present, and the women are just like, well, I'm not giving you sex. And the husband's like, I'm not gonna get into sex. And it's just like, right. And then it's just the relationship's just going down. And it's just, you know, this is what most people live in. A sexless, passionless, relationship where people spend more time with their work colleagues. The one that people end up sucking and fucking their work colleagues. Most people spend more time with their work colleagues than they do their own spouses. This is the society we live in. It's broken as fuck. And people, and then they get, they get depressed. What do you do when you get depressed? You go tell your doctor. Well, the doctor will give you some Xanax, give you some pills, side effects, decrease testosterone, anxiety, depression. <laughs> these are the side effects of these happy pills. It's like weight gain. It's like, fuck you now. Now you feel even worse. You're gaining more weight. Your sex drive's even less. You got no passion. And then that shit goes out the window. <laughs> but hey, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, man. I didn't go to university yet. I'm just a, a crazy Aussie dude on the beach here in Thailand, living it up. I'm wrong, though. You know? I'm not qualified to give this advice. You're not a clinical psychiatrist, Harley. You're just some crazy guy on YouTube. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever lets you live the lifestyle you want to live. Look at Gary Vee or Tony Robbins. These guys, these crew put out some really powerful, simple tips. Most people, they get knocked all the time about their advice. Oh, they, these guys aren't qualified psychologists. And they're, they're, just, they're just internet book writers, self-published people. There's, there's no truth in that. Okay, you believe that, whatever. 
But anyway, that's the deal. I'm self-made. I didn't have rich parents. I didn't a leech off other people's fame on the internet. I just hard fucking work uploading content every day pretty much on average for the last 11 years. And I continue to do more and more and more. Understand the power of social media now. I didn't understand it back in 2008, 2003 when I first started on the forums and YouTube, etc. But I understand the power now. It's, it's, it's incredible. You can impact people. You can create income. It's, just, it's a new economy. So how do you more confident not give a fuck? It's not about using alcohol or drugs or steroids or whatever. Because I know plenty of people who are drunk and unconfident as fuck. You accidentally bump them? Oh, sorry, mate. What? what? You bump me, mate? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? You know, they're like, they're not, that's not confidence, mate. Trying to fight someone doesn't want to fight you. That's not confidence. That's fucking nuts. That's, that's, that's insecurity. So alcohol doesn't make you more confident, you know? If it did, then people wouldn't get into, into fights and go cra do crazy shit because they're just insecure now. They're like, oh, oh fucking, oh. That's insecurity right there. Cocaine doesn't make you more confident because I know plenty of people on cocaine just sitting in the corner and just going, just chewing their fucking lips off. All right? Steroids won't make you more confident because there's plenty of people out there who are, get big and huge and they become insecure as fuck. Because someone says, hey, you missed, you skipped leg day. They walk up to any swolger dude doing the, walk up to Athlean X and say, hey, did you skip leg day? Mate, they're going to be like, oh, they're going to be all triggered, man. Because they did skip leg day. You know? Because you can't grow legs that much when you're on gear. Their legs are very genetic. So your arms, your torso grows, upper body grows, but your legs don't. You can shoot up all the steroids you want like these guys do. Clearly. But as soon as you're critiquing about their leg day, so steroids won't give you confidence. Because if it did, then these people wouldn't be so insecure. They have to keep injecting steroids to get their careers or identity going. I mean, I've used steroids. I know exactly how it feels to have you know, the varying levels of test. You can have mad confidence with low T. Women, some women are mad confident. And look how low testosterone women have genetically. Uh, so confidence is a state of mind. It's confidence is a choice in the moment no matter what. Uh, it's no, no matter what, confidence is just a choice in the moment. It's not determined by hormones or drugs. That's fake confidence. That's temporary confidence. Real confidence is a choice in the moment and it permeates every cell in your body. That's the real deal there. Not giving a fuck. When you're drunk, you're like, I don't give a fuck, anybody. That's not, that's fake not giving a fuck. Because as soon as you're sober up or whatever, you're like, oh shit, here comes life. That's why I recommend people go be clean, straight, natty, off the stims, off the pills, off everything, so you can build that emotional muscle. That's what I've done for so many years, being drug free, you know, from like, oh, like, you know, stim free for, for so many years, recreational drug free since 1997. And that builds more emotional muscle, and then you become a better equipped at dealing with confidence and uh, not giving a fuck about people that don't matter. Or managing people who you do give a fuck about, managing their expectations and hopes, where you stay cool, calm, collected, and say, hey, this is what we're doing. It's easy to get frustrated and lose your chops, but that really, you know, really, really do rarely does anything productive. Stay grounded, stay calm, stay like granite, stay like that mountain. You have the ex parental expectation coming down, but you don't crack. You just like, you just slide out. So how I'm doing this. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you think it's total bullshit, give it a thumbs down. I say it again and again. Confidence is just a choice in the moment. What's your option? You can be confident or you can be unconfident. You can be secure or you can be insecure. At any given time, it just it's just it's like driving a car, riding a bike. You steer it, man. Oh, I've steered this bike for the last five hours. I'm just gonna stop steering. I shouldn't have to steer anymore. Okay, you're gonna crash. Well, I'm a confident person, but you know what? Today I'm going to be insecure and unconfident. Okay, do you do that? And what's your options going to be? What's the consequences of that? Is There's no good or bad. It's just different consequences. So, you know, I see people ending relationships really quickly just by being insecure and jealous or, you know, overtly all these things. And they, the relationship just goes, Whoa! it's going great for years. And all of a sudden, it's Whoa! dropping off. So there you go. Not give a fuck. It's more about living on purpose, living with your passions, and surrounding yourself with people who get that. And if people can't get it, why even hang around them? Family obligations or whatever? I don't recommend burning bridges, I guess, unless they're toxic people. But even then, let them burn the bridge versus you. Just go about your life business, work your fucking ass off, eat shit for years if you have to. But seriously, man, if you can't sleep in the woods in the jungle by yourself, then you care too much what other people think. I've slept on this mountain by myself in 2006. Dead broke, no money, wanted to be in Thailand. I'd sleep on that mountain there. You're getting eaten by mosquitoes. But I fucking loved it. It's a true adventure. I'm not giving a fuck what people think. What'd you sleep last night? I slept on the mountain. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell, mate. 
If you can wear sunglasses like this and hats like this, you generally don't give a fuck. And you, and you can't, to be successful in life, happiness, for me, true success in life is being happy. And you can't really be happy in life if you're really attached to the outcome of other people's expectations of you. Or if you live for their approval to, to make you happy, then you'll die by their rejection. All right? That's, that's the worst trap, man, is living for other people's, uh, being, hinging your happiness on other people's opinions about you. See, and that social media just perpetuates that all the time, doesn't it? And look how much hate I get. Look at some of the videos people write about me, make about me, whatever. <laughs> this is my reaction, this is my response to them. Make some more videos about me. You haven't made, made a video about me for a few months. What's, what's going on? Getting slapped. See if I can talk for hours in this one. Wrap it up. Again, I'll say it again and again, because this stuff's repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill. Confidence is just a choice in the moment. And the only other option is to be unconfident and then to live that unconfident reality. Or to be confident. You know? Just do it, man. Why not? What's your option? <laughs>